good morning students today we will start our next chapter nutrition in animals the very first topic of nutrition in animals is digest uh, digestive system in human beings so without wasting much time let's start human digestive system consists of two parts first alimentary canal and second some glands alimentary canal starts from buccal cavity and ends at the anus just see how many parts are involved in alimentary canal first part is mouth then buccal cavity that is also called oral cavity esophagus that is food pipe then the food goes to stomach then small intestine large intestine and the waste comes out of the anus this is alimentary canal as a whole it is said that it is 9 meters long and at places some glands are also there these glands they secrete some digestive juices these dige di sorry digestive juices contains some of the enzymes which are very important to convert complex food into simple food because if i ask you what is digestion so digestion is a biological process in which complex food is broken down into the simple form and who is helping in that conversion of complex food into simple form the juices digestive juices which are secreted by the digestive glands majorly uh, glands which are present in our digestive system let's start from the mouth itself so in mouth we have got salivary gland then moving ahead we have got the largest gland of the body that is liver liver secretes bile juices then we have got pancreas so majorly we have three glands which are very important as far as digestive system of human beings is concerned first as i told you that is salivary gland second is liver and third is the pancreas now start with the digestive system buccal cavity we take food from our mouth by the process of ingestion ingestion means taking of the food in the mouth so after that food goes to the buccal cavity that is the oral cavity food is crushed and chewed in with the help of teeth and tongue in buccal cavity in buccal cavity or oral cavity we have got some salivary glands they secrete saliva saliva converts starch into sugar that's why when you eat food you chew chapati for some time after some time you must have noticed that that chapati tastes little sweeter it happens because the starch is being converted into sugar so that's why after chewing the chapati or the bread which is which is full of starch it tastes little uh, sweeter in taste why because this saliva has a enzyme called salivary amylase which converts starch into sugar thank you